In this video, we are going to show you what is covered in RubyCup Educational Workshop. This video is a guideline which is going to be helpful and inspirational. You can adapt it to your own audience and setting. The first section we cover is about female anatomy and reproductive health. So I'd like to ask anybody in the class, what do you know when you say female reproductive system? What I understand in female reproductive system is the female reproductive system is the important part in a female. Mm -hmm. Tumbili, Tumbili, when we are growing up and when we are young, there are some certain things we don't experience. Sindio. But if you reach a certain age, adolescent, Sindio. That's when we start realizing different changes in our bodies, Sindio. The changes we get, Sasawa. And you say your name and you say loudly, the changes we get, Sasawa, as girls. The changes that we get in our bodies, our menstruation and period starts. We start to what? Tumbiri. Tumbiri. Mm -hmm. The breast is large and large. The breast does what? But if mine they are small, am I abnormal? Yeah? I am abnormal. Tumbili. Tumbili. The changes that we get are hair grow in the armpit, under the armpit, and in the pubic areas. Tumbili. Tumbili. So when the hair grows, do you start crying? <laughs> right now we are going to look at the female anatomy. Now we are going to talk more into details. Sasaba, ah, let's go now, we see how it works. So this is the female anatomy, and it's divided into different parts. And then each part has its own function. Sasaba, like here, we have the vagina. Sindio, the work of the vagina, mostly na kwangani kama bath canal. Sasaba, iyo ya kurisive, pio ina receive spams. The spams ina ingilianga hapa. In a end, so just keep, when we are having our own periods, now that's where we're like uh, ovulation will take place. Sindi o, ovaries and bapunde kona eggs. So so what? Ikona nini? Now you're going to talk about reproductive health. Sasawa. And now as girls, um, are we supposed to take care of our own reproductive health? What are some of the information do you think we are told as a girl when you need to take care of our private parts? When you wash your panty after getting out of the, of the bathroom, you take your panty, you put it uh, in a rope where there's sunlight so that it can dry in a good way, not to put it under the mattress or inside the house. Because when you put it, it might bring bacteria, and when you wear your panty, it will bring you infections. So, so. The second section is about menstrual health and care. Now we are going to talk about uh, menstru menstrual health and menstrual care. Most of the time, as girls, when we grow up and we have our own menstruation, we think it's a normal process. India, even me to reach a point, I'm like, this is not normal. This is something that uh, I'm not happy of it but it's normal in reality. Like, um, I know most of you have experienced cramps in this class. Cindy, how do you manage with them? Any volunteer? How do you manage with cramps? You take what? Penkiller, another person at the back. You take hot water, mm -hmm. another person. How many do exercise? It is very advisable, even during when we are doing our own activity, called curricular activity in, in school, we usually we, we advise to run, we advise to do sit-ups, it's very important. The food we eat also matter. What are we supposed to eat? Uh, the back? Vegetables, India. And then there's another issue, even me, I'm a victim of when you have your periods, you vomit. So when you see your fellow classmates vomiting, don't go and tell the teacher she's pregnant. And I come here period. I come here in the period. Don't mistaken to be pregnant. Those are also some of the signs 
of showing our ah, body in a react, now almost in a react. The third section is about Ruby Cup and how to use it. Now I'm going to talk about um, Ruby Cup. How many have heard about Ruby Cup? Be sure of hands. For those who, have no, who don't know about it, I know for some of it's a very scary thing. You'll be like, what is this Rachel you're talking about? And, uh, but I promise you by the end of the session, you'll see it as a solution towards your menstruation for the next 10 years. The cup is very pretty. It has a very beautiful bag. And uh, this is the Ruby cup itself. To me, I don't look at it as a product. I look at it, as, especially for me, as an asset. And uh, I want to show it to you. Some of you will be like, gosh. Some of you will be like, this is the best one. So this is the cup. You see it? It's made of uh, medically graded silicone. It's not plastic. It's not what? It is what? Some a medical graded silicone. So when you get your cup, it will be in this bag, and it has instruction, a booklet, so now you're supposed to use it. But I'm going to take you through the whole process in different parts of the cup. So when you get yours, the first thing you wash your hands when you want to use. You do what? With soap and clean water. So sour. And then you remove your cup in the bag. This is when maybe you have not yet started your period. Then you sterilize it. You do what? Either by boiling for five minutes or you use the sterilizing tablet. They are called Milton. You pick your cup and it has different uh, parts. This is called the stem. It's called what? The? the stem is usually used when you want to remove the cup inside your vagina. Sasawa. You hold it this way. Sasawa. And this one is called the base. The what? The what? You have to pay attention because I'll ask you a question and also the work and the function of each part. The base mostly is used when you squat and you want to remove the cap. You pinch it here so that the air can enter to make it loosen with the air holes. Sasawa. And then here we have the air holes. The what? Air. There? Air. And when you want to remove and then you pinch the base, it's to remove the seal that makes it in a touch in a vagina. Sasawa. So ya kutoa. And then here we have the numbers here. Sasawa, the measurements. There's 15 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 5 millimeters. The, the reason why mostly I love Ruby Cup is because also like when you have the millimeters, you have also to monitor the, num the, the quantity of blood you remove every month. Sasawa. So we have known about the parts. So let's say I'm about to use now my cup. You have said you wash your hands. And then there are different methods of folding. There's this one, and I want you to look at it here. You punch it this way. It's called punch down method. It's called what? Mayona. If you may punch. Do you see it? So I'm giving you different methods, so you'll, you'll choose which one is more favorable with you. Sasawa. This one is the punch down method. Mostly, even the women use it, but mostly the school girls like using this method. And then we have this one, the C-shaped method. Do you see it? Like Rachel loves using this one. Me, I'm more comfortable with this one. So with the, with the two methods, you choose one, which is more comfortable with you. Let me now use my own example, Cindy. Now this is Rachel's vagina, Cindy. You, you're seeing it, Cindy. Then, have squats, sasawa. The special thing during our periods, our vagina is not the same size during our normal size. Tunalewana. Biologically, it opens up. But you can't put the cup when you're like this. Can it get inside? So you have to squat and then you open your legs like this, sasawa. So that it can give an allowance and stretch the vagina. So this is my vagina. So I take my cup, have squats, India. And I've opened my legs. Now I put my cup inside. It goes up and it will open according to the shape and size of my vagina. According to what? So don't worry about your shape and size. It's not going to make it to be bigger or smaller. It will take your shape and size. So the stem 
it will remain a few centimeters within. So, so when it gets inside the vagina, it will attach itself within the walls of the cervix. So, so I'm at the walls of the vagina. Now your periods will be coming inside. Up and down, depending with your flow. Some of us have heavy flow, some of us have light flow. Depending with your flow, if you have a heavy flow, what we usually advise, you can check between three to five hours. So, so to monitor. If you are a light flow, you can say with it of a maximum of 12 hours. Tunelawana, a maximum of? So when your periods they are getting in, don't be worried that oh, something may be going bad. We said unless you have put anything in a wrong, in a wrong, when you feel uncomfortable, that's when you know you are put in a wrong way, you remove it and then you put it back. Now you are in the class doing your own routine, studying. It's about time to change. What you do again, you go and wash your hands. So now you have washed your hands, Cindy. You have gone to the washroom, Cindy. You squat again. You do what? You squat so that you can give that allowance. We say like you can't remove or put the cup when you put your legs like this. Cindy, it's impossible. So you squat, the stem will come out automatically. And then the base, you, you, you push it. Kidogo, Cindy. Don't have to be appear like your stomach muscles. Push kidogo. Then you pinch here so that the air can enter to make the air was to loosen with the wall. So, so. So, we are going to make a Then you pull it. Tunelawana. Polepo? Polepo? Not brrr. Polepole. Then, when you pull it slowly, you remove it. You pour up the blood inside the all of the latrine. So, so. Wapi? Koshimayacho, Sindio. But you be very careful, it doesn't fall. Okay? You be what? It doesn't fall. So you hold it carefully. When you pour it, we usually advise when you come to school during your periods, you have the bottle of water, like your 20 bobs. You like to pay 20 bob with clean water for rinsing. But if you don't have the materials more favorable, you can just pour and then you return it back to your vagina. So, so to insert it again. After you finish your period, you take your cup, you rinse it, and then you take a sufria, you boil water, you put the cup, it boils for five minutes. Tunelawana. And then you take your beautiful bag, you put your cup, and then you're ready to use in the next 10 years. Sasawa. But, but what? Caution. Your cup, you're not supposed to use it with anyone. Sasawa. You're not supposed to do what? Do you share your pad or your whatever you use with your sister? No. Can I take my pad, I use it and then I give it to you, you use it. Can I take my rug, whether I'm using my rug and then I give it to you, use it. So your cup you're not supposed to share with anybody because you don't know like the infection how you can transmit sasawa. So don't share your cup. And another thing, just in case you go to remove your cup and then it stacks, don't cry. Don't start calling for Harambe to come and say they need an operation. Feel relaxed. Don't tense. And in case your cup falls down, don't pick it and then you put it in your vagina. Don't. Take your cup. You can ask Chichambone to look for another alternative for you to use for meanwhile or to give you permission to go home. You go and sterilize the cup and then you use it. Sasawa. Now every month, ensure you sterilize your cup. You do what? You sterilize what? By boiling for how many minutes? Five minutes. Five? Minutes. Before you put your cup on or removing, must, you must ensure you wash your hands with clean water. With what? Clean water. And soap. Tunelawana bakapo. You use what? Clean water and soap. We don't want that transfer of bacteria to our beautiful vagina. Sasawa, we don't want. And then another caution. I hope you are getting this one. Ruby cup is not a contraceptive. It's not a what? 
So don't say you're going to have sex and when you're having ruby cup you need to get pregnant. This is not a contraceptive. And it's good like when you start using it, you have like a, your own circle, you share different experience. How is it? So that you can learn from each other. Tunelewana. And it does not leak. Tunelewana. Ruby cup does not what? Unless you overstay with it, then the time you're supposed to stay with it. Another thing, another what? Ruby cup does not break virginity. Does not do what? Virginity is broken through what? Sexual penetration, Sindio? Of the vagina, Sindio? What the cup does is stretches the hymen. Sasawa. And the hymen is usually even stretched when you're playing soccer, when you're riding a bicycle, Sindio? The fourth section, we do a quiz, then we do question and answer to see if the girls they have understood. Now I'm going to give you the Ruby Cup quiz to see what I've taught you if you have, you have understood. And in case of any question you ask me, Sasawa, because I can't just say I've come and trained you and then I've left without knowing you have everything intact in your head and you have gotten it, Sasawa. And then I'm going to give you 10 minutes to fill. No copying from your friends. So this is meant to see if you have understood about the cup and how you're supposed to use it in case I'm not around. Uma is, who is supposed to teach you? Can Ruby Cup fall out when going to the toilet or walking, running? She's saying it can't fall because you have already inserted nicely, senior. And then it has stick the walls of the vagina, senior. To the, to Milly, to Milly. She has already now learned about Ruby Cup. So I want to hear also your response through the question you want to be clarified. Good question. She's asking this Ruby Cup that you are going to use, eh? Are we going to put it in the vagina or in another hole? Good question. How many holes do we have as women? Three holes. So where in the three holes, where do we put our ruby cup? So this is the three holes. You see them? The anus, the vagina, the urethra. The urethra, shimo, is very small. Sindio. Now that one is used for urinating. Sindio. The anus is used for so this one gets inside the vagina, the back canal. So don't put it in the urethra, it can't fit. Not behind here. You see, you put it inside directly. The fifth and final section, we distribute ruby cups to the girls. Girls, after having a successful training, now you are going to do the ruby cup distribution. Each and every one of you to get a ruby cup. How do you feel it? Happy and you know. And you really want to show. Happy and you know. Happy hands. If you are happy, you know. If you are happy and you know. Happy hands. If you are happy and you know. Hey, man. If you are happy and you know. Say amen. Hey, man. Yelele, iya, iya, we. Make sure Ruby Cup Workshop is as interactive as possible so that you can create trust with the girls. After washing, you take your Ruby Cup. You can fold it like with the punch down method. Or with a C shaped method, you choose the one you are comfortable with. After folding, you squat. Make sure your legs are apart. Yes. Expect Ruby Cup educational training to last for at least two hours. This is a small effort that can provide a girl 
with essential knowledge about a body and a product that lasts 10 years.